Oh my god, it's so strange. Why is why is getting back on Minecraft after just literally just a week and a half away? Why does it feel so weird? Because you're struggling with addiction. <sighs> we could have taken the railway. I forgot that exists. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Actually, the thing. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Colossus of Rhodes. Oh my god! That's actually that's actually awesome. <laughs> that's actually so sick. It's like overlooking the 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 thing. Damn. <laughs> The closer you get, the better it get fucking gets. Oh my god. I don't know, from a distance, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's so sick. I like think he's ripped off Notch's head, too. Yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's insane. I, I wish I recorded your reaction. Oh my god. I need to get closer. Oh, there's signs. Okay, I need to go check out those signs. I'm just gonna swim. See, That's I haven't so seen ridiculously place. huge as well. I like it. I need to. I need to see it from the uh, from the from the stadium and like a bit. I need to see it from like all angles. I only saw it from that one. I need to see it from all angles now. That's so cool. Hey, box player. How is ballet overseas? Hope you had fun. Anyways, thought your thought your harbor here looked pretty cool. But it was missing something like a huge colossus marking the entrance to the port, so I went ahead and made this one for you. I hope you like it and may and it and it may guide many ships in the years to come. Lots of love, mine. What does this say? Colossus of Back to Beta constructed 27th of April. <laughs> Loki kind of love it actually. <laughs> it's actually kind of <laughs> sick. It's so imposing. It is. Alright, I need to go check this thing out from like all the angles. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Actually a perfect spot for something like that though. I'm not gonna lie. I think so. Were you, were you all watching him do this? What? <laughs> no, this is like my first time. That was my first time seeing it up close. Look at this, like, from down here, that looks so cool, like, it's such a, that's such a cool mark, like, landmark thing. It's actually really cool. <laughs> nice. My, my one IRL friend that I oh, <laughs> look at that. Literally. This is so sick. Oh my god. <laughs> I love, this is, this is one of my new favorite shots right here. That's so good. <laughs> Are you in the house? Yeah, looking out of the Galileo's house. It's so oh, good. <laughs> That's actually awesome. If you stand like at the back and see it like through and then press F1, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> That's yeah, that's good. <laughs> That looks so cool, what the hell? <laughs> That's so sick. It's cool when you're like moving. This Okay, this looks sick. When you're like moving, like panning across. Like mm. That's really cool. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Back to Beta server. It has been a while since I've been able to say those words and I'm sorry for the, uh, the amount of time that I've had off. I, uh, didn't intend to take that much time off, but in the end I had, like, a month off. That, uh, last video with Jaren, that was, like, a month ago, maybe even more, um, that I recorded that. So, yeah, I didn't intend to have that long off, and, uh, there's a mul there's multiple reasons, um, as to why I wasn't able to be on the server, but we're back now, and that's all that matters. And in the meantime, I actually have had some things, um, completed that I haven't actually shown you um, since I've been away. But firstly, um, oh, we have a new member on the server, Mr. Saturday. No, Mr. Sunday. <laughs> That's literally right in front of me. Mr. Sunday has joined the server. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I'll leave his channel linked in the description. Super cool guy. Um, very excited to uh, hang out with him on the server. Um, but he came along, and for his 1,000 subscribers special, he uh, mined a whole bunch of diamonds on the server and uh, decided to, to give us... Um, give us all, all some, I think he went around a bunch of different, um, different places and gave some diamonds out, so that's super cool. If you don't know Mr. Sunday, go subscribe to him, link to, link, link, linked below. Um, 
But yeah, thanks Mr. Sunday, very cool. Um, but yeah, let me show you uh, what I haven't shown you that was done like a month ago. <laughs> All these things were done like ages ago that I haven't been able to show you. Um, so the first thing is this mushroom farm um, to complete off all of our mushroom, uh, all of our farms in this uh, in this little area by our base. Um, and this one's pretty cool. It took me a little while, and I wanted it to be kind of unique, um, just like the rest of them. Um, so I made these little kind of tunnels that you could look into um, and see the mushrooms. Um, and yeah, the color scheme is obviously mushroom themed, um, plus a bit of white. I mean, I guess that goes with the uh, with the with the red. But I kind of wanted also a little bit of the the glass, so you can kind of see the the mother mushrooms, the mother shrooms that uh that help make these work. Um, but yeah, basically we've got levers, uh, uh, sorry, pistons down the back. See, I, I'm so I'm so flustered. I don't even know how to how to record anymore. I don't know what to do. It's very difficult. Um, but yeah, basically we've got pistons down the back holding back water. Those will retract and then all the mushrooms kind of get pushed down and over here. Now, you'll probably notice that this isn't actually finished. Um, if I come down here, this isn't actually finished. And a big part of the reason this isn't finished is at the time when I was building it, I was kind of struggling to come up with a gimmick. Um, as you guys know, these all have gimmicks. So this one pushes all the sugar cane up to there. This is like a whirlpool um, that all the cactus kind of burns up. And if you want it, you can flick that lever and kind of stand there and collect the cactus. Um, this one, uh, you flick these levers and it makes the, uh, the, the wheat kind of all pour under and it's like a waterfall of wheat. Plus there's also, um, the popcorn dispenser here where you walk over the pressure plate and all the, all the wheat pops out. But here I couldn't really think of anything, um, anything interesting or creative. So if you guys have any ideas what I could do, let me know. Um, for now I've just hooked up these, um, these levers to activate the farm and I think... Benoth. I think this also maybe activates the whole farm. Oh, I did. Yeah, nice. So yeah, um, I made it so that yeah that activates all of them, and as you can see, you can see all the uh, the mushrooms getting pushed out, um, out of their little uh, I don't know corridors there. Some of them do get stuck, but like all these farms, there's losses, and I don't really care too much about how many losses there are. Um, but yeah, right now there's no real way to collect them, um, so I just kind of have to. Uh, find my way in there. Um, but it's pretty effective. I mean, there's a lot of mushrooms that you can collect from this, which is pretty cool. There you go. Like, one harvest is like... Oh, there's also some mushrooms spreading down here. These aren't meant to be here. Why are these spreading? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you get like a like a stack in a bit um, of mushrooms, which is pretty cool. Um, not that I ever use mushrooms for anything. I don't really use them for soup or anything like that, but I don't know. It's cool to have a mushroom farm. So that was the first thing I was working on. Again, if you have any ideas what I could uh, could use as the gimmick for that farm, let me know because I'm not entirely sure. Um, the other thing, well, the, the the next major thing I was working on was a uh, minecart railway system to the village area because um, up until now I've been basically walking back and forward from the village area every single time, and it is it is a lot of work to go all the way back and forward, especially when it comes to like um, shunting I items over there, like I. Like, I only have so much inventory space, so it takes a while to walk back and forward. So I thought I would um, make a system down here, like a railway system. Um, I need to make a better way to get up and down this because it's too slow for me. Um, but yeah, I've made a bit of a railway down here, which I quite like. Um, it's a bit of a unique little space. It's got some, like, bookshelves and, and things like that. Now, I used update suppression to put these buttons on these dispensers here. And each one has a different thing. So this one has, like, minecarts with chests for, like, storage pushing and then I also even have furnace minecarts here and then this one just has bread I should probably also put like um some some or maybe I put coal in there yeah I put coal in here that's right so that you could uh use the uh furnace minecarts um and yeah basically you just like click this and you can get the minecart dispensed you can press this button and go off um there is an activator rail here, because obviously if you come through here, um, that's just going to keep going that way. So it just turns this briefly and pushes you that way. Now, it's not quite done. There is a bit of sky left to do, and I'll, I'll ride the railway in a minute. But um, yeah, I'll just show you the design of the, the hallway. It's kind of sandstone walls, kind of reminiscent a little bit of my Let's Play world um, with the sandstone walls. But I added some extra little indent details. I have so much um, sugar cane, so I wanted to, to make some bookshelves. Um, 
and yeah, we've got these uh, trap doors and that. And then every now and again, uh, there's not many, but every now and again, I've got these little hollow openings to look into the cave, which I think are kind of cool. Very resource intensive this is, especially in the wood department. But um, yeah, and I, I still haven't quite got enough blue wool to get it done. But um, yeah, that's the next step. So yeah, let's ride this rail and I'll show you um, the last thing I was kind of working on before I uh, took my um, unscheduled extended leave. Um, but yeah, let me ride this rail. I think, I don't know if I've shown this rail at all, actually. So I might just ride this rail, because it's got a pretty cool little, uh, um, little secret exit at the end as well. Um, yeah. I do regret a little bit having the, oh, here's some lookouts. Oh, that looks out into a mushroom, uh, cave, which is cool. Um, I do regret a little bit using the stairs as, like, kind of, um, I don't know little rungs of the track or whatever um because if i ever have to like break the minecart for any reason uh sometimes it drops into the stairs which is annoying but this is really cool i got an activator rail and it's all secret <laughs> it's all secret and it puts you right into the middle of the village which is pretty cool or the uh the town i guess um so these were already here these um logs uh, you may remember back when i um i was building this place i made it so that these logs were kind of meant to be that but kind of fallen apart um, and I thought, hey, I could make this uh, little little secret way in and out. So, yeah, there's an activator rail. When you put this on here, um, it pulls a piston back. And you can kind of, yeah, see how this works. And, uh, yeah, it's like a little secret in and out. Uh, and there's another activator rail here. So on the way up, you can, uh, it opens just long enough to to kind of let you through. Which is really cool. And then you, yeah, pick up the minecart. So yeah, this has been already super useful in terms of, like, shunting materials to and from this place, which is really cool. Um, as you saw in the intro, mine built this massive kind of colossal statue of himself holding Notch's head, which is really cool. I actually really like the position of this. And, uh, yeah, I like that he's kind of built it here. I do think the Notch head is on the wrong hand. I mean, obviously, like, this is your active hand, so, you know, it would make sense that he's holding it on that side. But when you look at it from here, all you can see is kind of Notch's head. You can't really see um, the the statue too well. So, yeah, I do have plans to maybe adjust the statue when I get to it, but, um, yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that another time, but for now, it can stick around. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the last thing I was working on um, before I had to go was this little kind of redstone shop up here uh right here so this was kind of meant to fit in with the markets but i wanted it to be a little more colorful i wanted to use kind of some different materials and things um i think i've been limiting myself a little too much in this village in terms of like this is what it should be made out of it wouldn't make sense that they have this um especially when it comes to the shops i think you know bricks would exist like you know i want to build like an importation of things so maybe this shop is just you know able to buy some bricks but this is like a little redstone shop it's kind of unfinished but um uh, i don't know it's kind of unique um so yeah and i did extend some roads a little bit um before i left as well so yeah that's pretty much what i've been up to but just because i haven't been on the server doesn't mean others haven't as well um, there has been quite a bit of activity. You guys should definitely check out, um, all the other members on the server. Everyone's really, uh, really working hard to do, uh, to do some pretty cool things. But I'd like to come over here because there's a few things that I haven't really seen. I did see this just before I left. Um, I think I saw this, uh, on the, um, one year anniversary live stream. Um, this is Gengar's shop. I don't really remember what's in it, though. I think it's some kind of sand. Oh, there's snow. Ooh, that's actually useful. I did bring some diamonds just in case I wanted to buy something, which I actually might buy some snow. What's in here? Soul sand. I did just collect a bunch of soul sand. Pharaoh. Hello, Pharaoh. Uh, sand. I have plenty of sand. Ooh, and there's also none in there. What's up here? Is this... Am I allowed up here? This looks like... <laughs> this looks like it's... This looks like Gengar's living here. I know he has a base elsewhere. There's no way he's living here. Maybe this was like his first little humble abode. I don't know. Like that's this is Gengar Juice's shop, by the way, um, who's also on the server now. Which I can't remember if I'm sure I would have said that. Okay, this looks like there's nothing in here. I'm gonna buy some. Uh, I'm gonna buy some snow. Uh, one. What is it? One diamond per stack. That's a steal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get eleven. Why not? Nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. 11 stacks of snow. Not sure what I'm going to use it for, but I'm sure I will use it at some point. Um, but these are really cool builds. I love the uh, the tall trees around it too. This is really cool. 
Uh, really cool little details and that. And then this here, so this is something I missed out on, which is unfortunate, but this is the Mining Guild, the Back to Beta Mining Guild. So this is built by Mine and like kind of spearheaded by Mine. It's like a um, Abba Caving, uh, I don't know, score center. <laughs> um, this is a really cool build, by the way. Props to, to Mine. It's, I love the, the different layers. I like that the use of space is like really good. Oh, he's even got a ladder like up here. This is cool. Get a nice little view. I need to go check out that shop as well. I can't remember what that is. I think that maybe was built by Egg Thing, but I can't remember what it was. This is a nice view from up here. Nice. All right, let's uh, let's see what's in here. I don't think this is a shop. I think this is just like a um, like a guild where the rules and stuff are for Abba Caving. So spacious. I love the use of wool as well. He's got like the two thick walls, so he can have the wool inside here. It's very nice. All right, Abba Caving. Game scores. Okay, so this is just the game scores. Alright, game one. Deadly. Oh my god, Deadly crushed it. Wow. Eggfiend got disqualified. Mine won the second one. And then Gory came out came out on top on the third one. I definitely need to play this at some point with, uh, with Mine or uh, honestly anybody <laughs> would be fun. So definitely need to play this at some point. Um, okay, here's the rules. So um, players... All must meet at agreed location. Players have an allo allotted time to mine, 20 minutes. Uh, no PvP, stealing ores from others is allowed. Four, no branch mining, digging to find new caves is fine. If a player dies, they're disqualified. Uh, player with the highest score wins and takes it all. Yeah, that's a big thing with this. You, uh, you get all of the resources from everybody if you win, so that's huge. Mines come out, come out getting so much stuff for sure, that's crazy. A little pickaxe on the ground. What's this? Oh, this is the scoring system. I feel like redstone should be higher. 0 0.5? It takes ages to mine. It's like an it's a, it's a time investment. I, I guess you do get 4 every time you mine it. I don't know if that's valuable enough. And coal is 0? I feel like you could jig this to make it so that everything at least has some value. But, I don't know, I didn't, <laughs> Golden Apple 1000, <laughs> I guess uh, I didn't make it, so I'm sure they've put a lot more thought into it than I have in the past three seconds. Nice, so that's Abba Caving, that's really cool, we got to definitely try that at some point. Um, now, the last place I want to check out is this new shop over here. Alright, so what's this one all about? Bye, bye, bye. Slave work! Slave work! <laughs> what? Okay, bye, that looks like it. Anyway, um... Oh, this chest has been here for so long. Hang on. Is there anything in it? It keeps changing contents every time I come check it out. Let's uh let's take some dirt out and put some let's put some snow in oh yeah, let's put some snow in there. <laughs> we always change the contents of that chest. It's been there for ages. Alright, anyway, what is this? I'm getting distracted. This is I think I think this was built by by Egg Fang, but I can't remember. This is such an interesting build. W. <laughs> Such an interesting build. It looks like almost like a rundown shack of some kind. Let's do a quick 360 of this build. Little seat. What have you? Crafting tables in the wall. It's kind of cool. It is a cool build. What is this? Not human body bags. Sorry, Casper. <laughs> oh no, Casper! Oh no! <laughs> That's pretty good. Cool. Let's uh, let's have a look inside. A very cool build. Let's have a look inside. There's only one door. Alright, this place is real budget. Oh my god, this place is real budget. Okay, does this door... I didn't notice this door... Oh, you can go in here too. Um, okay. Buy slave labor. Discuss with owner. Easy, $16. I assume that's meant to be diamonds. Medium, 32 Hard, 64 Hmm. Does the price get determined, like... By egg thing. I assume. I think this is egg thing. I, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it is. But oh, this is kind of cool. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't really know what this is about. If I'm honest, um, I I don't know if I trust the slave labor. If I'm honest, because uh, I've won like slave labor at the Kelsino about five times, and I haven't seen a, a red cent of slave labor come my way. So, yeah, might have to might have to query about that one. If I ever need a, a place dug or something like that. I think that's that's what I need it for, but yeah. Alright, the last thing I wanted to check out was out the front of Mount Betamore, there is now a cake, and this is like a, a, a pixel art of the Minecraft cake, 
And this was on the day of the actual anniversary of Back to Beta. So the stream I did was like slightly earlier um, of the actual date, but this was on the actual 20, 29th of April. Um, I think everyone got together and, and built this cool cake, which is kind of cool. Get off here. Um, yeah. Oh, there's even a sign on it. Back to Beta, one year anniversary, 29th of April, 2024. Very cool. So I just missed out on this, but um, yeah, it was cool to see that everyone kind of got on and did a little celebration thing. Alright, but I think that is going to be all for this video. Just wanted to give you a little catch up and uh, proof of life that I'm here and that I'm back and I'm excited to be back on the server. And uh, hopefully this weekend I'll have another video out um, with some actual progress on the server. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters. Whoa! Almost jumped off. Nah, let's do it. Beep. <laughs> Ooh.